woke up early today um, to see the sunset rise. Unfortunately, the weather is too overcast, too cloudy in the sky, so there's no sunrise. Instead, I saw a lot of platypus. There's one um, from a distance, and I just patiently waiting for it to swim closer. And it actually did swim closer right next to my feet, but when it saw me, it immediately dived into the water. Um, but I did capture a clear shot um, of the platypus, and then I just waiting around looking around and there is there are a lot of platypus here I saw like at least six today but they all swim from a far distance um, and then they just swim uh, to the bridge um, which is right here they really like diving they swim for a little bit and then they die down and then then go up again and swim for a bit and then dive down again they are so cute i'm so glad that we decided to um, go back to cradle mountain and to stay in this camping area um, it's free and it's by the lake or pond um, where like a residential of platypus here like there are so many we saw a few yesterday but yeah it's from a distance I'm so lucky that I get to see one up close today back in Cradle Mountain and it has been raining all morning um, it stopped pretty much on and off rain we decided to go for a walk anyway we're just gonna do a short walk today can't do long walk because of the rain <laughs> it's not raining anymore so make it easier for us plus the weather even though it's raining the weather wasn't the temperature is not that cold we are actually a bit sweaty now
private falls was so beautiful it's like we're walking into a uh, an animation of fairy tales um, it's just so beautiful so green in there and so warm as well the fall itself wasn't that great but the walk is absolutely stunning and I'm a bit sad because there's no warm bed inside I think I'm going to leave old Tasmania without seeing any warm bed up close come so close I didn't spot a warm bed but I spot a, a black snake instead it's right here in um, at um, Enchanted Walk, right at the entrance of the walk. I thought it was dead, but it's actually alive. It does move. Go away, come another night, I die. Ready, I want to go. Baby, go away. <laughs> Okay, I am 100% satisfied now. I have finally sold a warm bed. We just got out of the um, Cradle Mountain Tavern. Uh, we just had a light lunch. And then when when we walk out, and then we, we saw it like just casually walking around eating grass. It was so close to us that I can reach out my hand to touch it. Of course, I'm not touching it, but it's just so cute and it's so close. We just want to give it a hug, but unfortunately we can't.
be my lucky day. Earlier this morning, I saw a platypus very close to me, just right next to my feet, and then, um, and then we went to Cradle Mountain. I saw a black snake, which is very close, just like right under my feet as well. And then after that, I thought I'm not going to see a wombat, and then boom, the wombat appear in front of us, and it's so close. And then on the way back to our camping ground, I saw three echidna. We didn't stop to take pictures because I already caught it on camera uh, a month ago. Uh, many of them. And then on our way back to our camp ground, which is where the platypus pond is or lake. Um, we saw another platypus swimming up to the shore. It's really close. 